Hi friends, Miss Glynn here. Welcome to math. We are on lesson number eight and we're going to start today by warming up our math minds with some skip counting squats. So I need you to stand up in your spot and just watch me first. So I'm going to start at zero and when I'm standing up tall, I'm using my normal voice. When I squat down, I'm going to go to the next number and I'm gonna use a whisper voice. So when I'm down, I'm whispering. This is gonna help us practice skip counting, which is when you count, but you skip numbers. So this exercise will help us learn to skip count by twos. So watch, I'll go all the way up to 10. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, I want you to try it with me this time and we're gonna go all the way up to 20. Here we go. Start at zero. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. So you can see we're skipping every other number and we're only saying the even numbers out loud. So that is something I need you to store in your brain because we're going to come back to it later and do some more skip counting in a, in a lesson in the future and practice counting by our twos. Okay, we are going to go right ahead and do our number of the day. Um, you can just follow along for this part. It will still help you if you're just watching or you can download this template and print it out or use it on your computer. I have linked it um, in the description below. So yesterday our number of the day was seven. So today our number of the day is going to be eight. So we'll write our number in our number box and then we'll write the word E-I-G-H-T. The number eight is spelled kind of goofy. It's definitely different. And look how we use the lines to help our handwriting. Then I'm gonna go over to my tally box and make my eight tallies. Remember when we get to five, we cross. So that way, when I look at my tallies, I can easily tell I have a group of five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm gonna go to my drawing box. Am I gonna draw my dots all over the page? No, am I gonna draw them all in one straight line? No, am I gonna draw them five on the top and then go to the next row like it's in a 10 frame? Yes, that is what I'm going to do because again, that helps me see how many dots I have, five, six, seven, eight. It helps me count them more efficiently. Then I'm gonna go right below and I'm gonna fill in my 10 frame the same way. I have to fill in the top row before I can go to the bottom row. We're skipping these boxes over here for now, but we are gonna go down to the bottom and do one more and one less. So think in your head, what is one more than eight? Count on one. So let's see, eight, nine. Yeah, one more than eight is nine. Now let's see if we can find one less than eight. So now we have to count back one. Eight, seven. Yeah, one less than eight is seven. One more counting on is nine. One less counting back is seven. Good job. Okay, that is our number of the day. And then we are going to get our application journals. <clears throat> if you don't have an application journal, you can just use a piece of paper or a whiteboard is fine too. Okay, we're gonna go to the very next page in our application journal. We don't wanna flip to the middle or to the end because this way we can keep our work nice and neat and in order. You can go ahead and close your eyes. <clears throat> I'm gonna read the application problem and I want you to visualize it in your mind. So see if you can picture what's happening. Here we go. Raiden received nine stickers at school. He received five stickers in the morning. How many stickers did he receive in the afternoon? Draw a picture, a number bond, and a number sentence to show how you know. Okay, you can open your eyes and watch my hands this time as I read through the problem again. Raiden received nine stickers at school. 
he received five stickers in the morning. How many stickers did he receive in the afternoon? Draw a picture, a number bond, and a number sentence to show how you know. Okay, so we are going to start by drawing a picture for this problem. So how many stickers did Raiden receive in total? Nine stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my nine dots. And just like we draw our dots on our number of the day sheet, I'm gonna draw them nice and neat and pretend they're in a 10 frame. So five on the top, and then I go to the bottom row. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so Raiden received nine stickers. He received five in the morning. So how can I show that of these nine stickers, he received five of them in the morning? I think I will circle them. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle five stickers. I circled five. And I'm gonna put an M next to them to show that those are the stickers that Raiden got in the morning. Now I have to figure out how many stickers did Raiden get in the afternoon? Well, he got nine in total, so we're not adding any more. These are all the stickers that he got. We know he got five of them in the morning, so these must be the stickers he got in the afternoon. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna label those A for a a afternoon. Okay, so now we have our drawing that clearly shows us the stickers Raiden got in the morning and in the afternoon. And we can see how many he got in total. But I'm not done. Now I have to draw my number bond. I have to draw my number bond. So let's see. Well, we can start with the part or the whole, but we can easily see how many he got in the morning and we know that's a part, right? Because it's not the whole thing, it's not all of them. So how many stickers did he get in the morning? Five, so that can be our first part, okay? What's our next part going to be? Four, that's how many stickers he got in the afternoon. And now we need our total or our whole. What is our big number? How many did he get in all? Nine. Nine is the amount that he got in total. Okay, so there's our number bond. But I'm still not done. Now I have to write a number sentence. And when we write number sentences that go along with our math problems, they have to go in the same order as the story. So let's see, what's the first number we get? Raiden received nine stickers at school. What's the first number? Nine, but hold on. We haven't done this yet. We have not started a number sentence with the whole number yet. So this is a little bit different. When we start a number sentence with the whole number, the equal sign has to come next, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. Because we can't put a plus sign because we didn't add more to nine. We only have nine in total. If we add more to nine, we're gonna go over our big number and we can't do that. This is our total. So nine equals, right? Nine equals, how many stickers did he get in the morning? He received five stickers in the morning. So that's the number that will come next. Five, nine equals five, plus how many stickers did he get in the afternoon? Four, nine equals five plus four. And this is our number sentence that will go along with our math story. Good job, guys. Okay, you can put your application journal away. And now I need you to get... <clears throat> a plain piece of paper six different colored markers or crayons and 10 counting cubes and remember if you don't have counting cubes you can use pieces of macaroni you can use buttons you can use pennies or coins whatever you have 
we just need 10. Okay, so if you need to go get those things ready, paper, six different colored crayons or markers, 10 cubes or something like that. You can pause the video and restart it when, when you're back, okay? All right, here we go. We have been working on decomposing numbers. So we've been working on breaking whole numbers into two different groups. Today, our whole number is going to be how many? 10. Our whole number is going to be 10. And for 10, we have a really special trick to help us remember the friends of 10 or the ways that we can decompose 10 into two different groups. Okay, and that is what we're going to make. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna put my camera up here so you can see my paper, is we are going to take our paper and put it horizontally. That means the long way, okay, sideways. And we are going to put our 10 blocks across the bottom of the paper in a row all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Perfect. And we're gonna take our red marker first, okay? If you have red, that's great. If you're using different colors than me, that's okay too. So I'm gonna take my red marker and I'm gonna draw an arc nice and big on my paper but leaving enough room to write underneath it okay this is gonna show me my first friends of 10. okay so i'm gonna put all my blocks over this way so i have zero blocks over here so i'm gonna write a zero under this side and i have all 10 of my blocks over here so I'm gonna write a 10 over here. So now I know that zero plus 10, zero plus 10 equals 10, or 10 plus zero equals 10. Then I'm going to get my orange marker, and I'm gonna draw another arc inside of my red arc, okay? I'm going to move one cube over to this side. So now I have one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But all together, I still have a total of 10. I haven't added any cubes in or taken any away. So this is another way I can break up 10 into two groups. One plus nine equals 10, or nine plus one equals 10. Then I'm going to take my yellow marker and I'm gonna draw an arc inside of the orange. What do you think my next pair is going to be that's going to equal 10? I'm gonna take one more cube and put it over here. So now I have two cubes over here and eight cubes over here. So now I know that two plus eight equals 10 or eight plus two equals 10. Next up is green. I'm gonna take my green marker and make an arc inside of my yellow arc. I'm going to move one more cube over. So now I have three over here and a group of seven over here but I still have 10 all together. So I can say three plus 10, or sorry, three plus seven equals 10, or seven plus three equals 10. Next up is blue. I'm going to make my blue arc inside of my green one. I'm going to move how many cubes over? One cube over. Okay, how many cubes do I, do I have over here now? Four. Do you see the pattern? This side is going up one every time. Zero, one, two, three, four. And how many do I have over here now? Six. Good job. This side is going down one every time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. So now I know that four plus six equals how many in total? Ten. Or six plus four equals ten. And last but not least, we're going to do purple make our arc 
move one cube. I now have five and five. So I know that five plus five equals 10, or the other way, five plus five equals 10. And that way it's the same number sentence because our two numbers are the same. And last but not least, in the middle of my rainbow, I'm gonna make a big number 10 and put a circle around it to show that this is my friends of 10 rainbow. All of these pairs equal 10. And if you don't have side, um, sorry, if you don't have room to write your 10 inside of your rainbow, you can write it up in the corner or on the side. That's fine as well. That's just to remind us that this is our friends of 10 rainbow. Okay, guys, that was an awesome job. Um, I hope you had fun with our lesson today. It's one of my favorites because it's so colorful. We can end on a positive note. So put your thumbs up, point at yourself, Say, I am a mathematician. Yes, you are. And uh, that wraps up lesson eight. I will see you next time for lesson nine. Goodbye.